all right guys Rukage here and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on tokyo go break the chains so pretty much yesterday i said i will <laughs> play this game like crazy but then i got totally hooked up on reverse 1999 i had to do certain things so yeah i i i had to choose the priority of reverse 1999 since that game is like globally and officially here uh, but anyhow we got the new gift code uh, we're gonna do also the guild on today's video uh, i will create an organization and then you can like rokage ghoul ghoul but i cannot type more than this okay rokage ghoul will be the guild so make sure to join it okay uh how i can show you if i click here so pretty much just go in organization and type rokage ghoul and make sure to join the guild pretty much okay if there'll be any more date data needed i will put it as a pin comment but here it is my uh, guild is ready to go so make sure to join it uh, so we have new gift code and we have a new banner that is dropping tomorrow we're gonna immediately analyze the character also my tier list will be updated really soon uh, i position certain characters in the wrong place i would say now after playing the game furthermore and based on your feedback so there'll be a few characters that will be changed but nothing drastically uh, maybe that new character that i already put in the tier list uh, although he wasn't still in the game uh, i'll definitely rank him higher but okay let me go first and do the gift code okay so every day we're gonna get a new gift code i mean during the seven days uh, this is the gift code based on their um uh, based on their discord so you can just like copy paste it from me when i'm typing right now it is not limited it is not limited and it will pretty much work for everyone okay they changed that part from limited okay yeah now it should be good yep so again 15 uh gems and we're getting sweep coupons okay that's pretty cool let me now go and check out the banner let me see what everything they said blah 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 yeah new code that's pretty much that uh so ccg maverick limited time recruit is coming soon and here is we can check it out on the facebook a little bit more details and then we're gonna go in an analysis of a character uh b -b 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 event time from 14 of november to 30th 30th of november event recruitment during this event the new ssr juzo suzuya ccg maverick will be featured in a limited time pool with significantly significantly increased probability when you reach 100 draws and 200 draws uh cum cumulatively cumulatively cu okay when you do <laughs> when you do 100 uh, summons then 200 that's when you reach the pd and you will uh, receive an additional random ssr character and then when you reach 300 summons you can choose which one ssr character you want to get from the pool okay um after claiming the 300 the count will reset event sign in during the event period daily login rewards can be collected including diamonds summoning tickets and various other valuable growth materials don't miss the opportunity to get new ssr during this event so this is dropping tomorrow as still a lot of you ask me a lot of you ask me will the data will be wiped i i see shiny said that based on your comments shiny said that it will be wiped so now i'm confused also <laughs> i still think that it won't get wiped because it's an open beta i was also checking on the discord server some people saying it will be wiped some people saying it won't be wiped but it's an open beta so it shouldn't be wiped okay that's that, from my experience but i still didn't got the exact answer from the developers but being open beta it doesn't make sense that it's gonna be wiped it just doesn't make sense okay the closed battles are getting wiped but the open beta it would be a shame if they're wiping this stuff okay they should have been more clear about that that's for sure okay so here it is right yuzo suzuya ccg maverick so yeah I, okay i also add him in the tier list i thought that he's already here in the game but nevertheless let me check out what he's capable of so here's a skill typing 
attribute green damage all allies so it's aoe 160 percent of attack applies that mark this damage is reduced by 20 for every one extra target hit that mark casting an active skill costs 12 percent of max hp damage won't exceed 250 percent of attack that mark expires after the effect is triggered this part casting an active skill costs 12 percent of max hp damage won't exceed oh okay now i see oh i i see when i was doing the tier list i comp I, I understood it in a wrong way so pretty much he will apply that that mark to opponent and then he's literally casting an active skill so every time they're gonna cast an active skill they're gonna lose 12 percent of max hp damage and damage won't exceed 250 percent of attack two star i believe the only the percentages go up right everything else would be too broken yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and it's aoe by the way applying that mark that's crazy okay yeah, yeah yeah i understood that when he does the that mark he loses the hp and that's the cost of that that mark that was my bad now you gain one empowering mark when your turn starts gaining four empowering marks increases all your stats by 10 percent for two turns at the cost of all empowering marks preventing you from gaining empowering uh, mark from for the duration increases basic stats by three so every time the turn the turn will start he will get empowering mark when you gain four of those it will increase your stats by 10 okay this is the part where it, it is amazing but you need to gain four of those so you get your stats by 10 percent for two turns at at the cost of all empowering marks and then you won't get a, another empowering mark for the duration pretty much increasing this uh, basic stats so okay even though you need four until you get like 10 percent you're still getting like three percent for empowering mark okay so definitely you'll be doing more and more damages as the time will go each time one each time a target affected by that mark dies you gain one empowering mark instantly dealing damage to all enemies 100 180 percent of attack Triggered the effect of that mark increases your whole team basic stats by 3%. Cannot, cannot occur more than 8 times. Again, this is more like he will shine as you get those limits. Uh, gaining power burst grants one stack of empowering mark. Again, okay. Uh, definitely he's better than I thought when I was doing my tier list. Uh, I put him in like A or A tier or something like that. But because I, I misunderstood the that mark here. Uh, definitely a character that goes based on my tier list s to s plus tier um, not a god tier no uh, definitely a top tier character i would say not like a game changing one not a must have at the end of the day it all depends do you need that aoe damage dealer who can like uh, mess up aoe you know, characters pretty much with that the, the, that mark it needs to be tested out fully and especially as when you get all the limits then he becomes like super crazy but for the early game i believe this and this would be just enough and he'll be doing the damages and definitely messing up with the that mark opponent so as to s plus tier i will see when i will update the tier list but not a tier okay i misunderstood the that mark okay guys hopefully you did enjoy the video leave a like subscribe your opinions in the comment section below make sure to again uh join the, join my join my guild rokage ghoul i would really appreciate that definitely i'll play this game casually since this is not yet an official global launch um so i'm, I'm playing it casually i have other games to cover that is way more important but don't worry i'm here on this game i definitely will pay attention uh, attention and definitely i'll play it every day maybe not like reverse 1999 but definitely i'll play it okay that's that love you see you next one bye